friends, it's me, your favorite messy hair YouTuber, who records in her closet. Yes, we are still in the closet. <laughs> yes, I'm sick. Some things never change. When will I get better? Anyways, today's video is a test of strength, endurance, knowledge, brain power. We're gonna be going through a brain obstacle course. We're gonna watch this video. It's gonna tell me how predictable you are. It's supposed to have a hundred percent success rate. So no matter how much you try, this test will always beat you. Hi, I'm Richard and this is the prediction. What I'd like you to do is lean forward and place your finger on the start square here. Now during the test, you can okay. move from side to side. Alright, so guys, play this with me, okay? So I'm on start. You can move up, down, left, right, but you cannot move diagonally. So I'm gonna move down to the meh face. So at the moment you have your finger either on this square here or this square here. Keep it exactly where it is. Now every time I say a number, make a move. Remember, up or down, side to side, but not diagonally. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I predict that you won't have chosen the house over here. Oh, see? He's right. I'm on the V. I feel like I should tell you where I'm going from the V, so. And here we go again. One, two, three. And now I predict you won't have chosen Oof. the V. I'm on the circle with the X. So, mm, safe. So far, so Gucci. So far, so calculated. Okay, here we go. Round three. Fight me, old man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this time, I predict you won't be on this symbol. Bruh, I am on the middle now. It's like I feel like I could have been on that one and he could have gotten rid of it. But no, it doesn't work like that. Pure mathematical calculations. This dude a math teacher or something? Here we go. Round four. Here we go again. One, two, three, four, five. And now your finger is not I'm on the queue. I am on the queue. See, when I do this, I'm going like back and forth, back and forth. Yee! I'm still in the game. Leave a like if you are still in the game. He hasn't gotten rid of your card yet. Like, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you haven't chosen the unhappy face. I I swear, it's like I want to get him at his own game. I'm on the smiley face right now. But it's like, oh, it's so close. Like, I don't know what's coming next. Here we go again. One, two, three. And you are not on the wavy lines. Make one last move now. And I predict you didn't choose the cue, but instead your finger is on the happy face. And that is the prediction. Bro, I wasn't actually gonna throw it, but bruh, this dude really done calculated me. Every move. I can't believe it. I know it's pure math and calculations, but if you ended up on the smiley face, hit that like button. How does everybody end up on the same one? It just blows my mind. Y'all feeling what I'm feeling? Defeat. I know it all too well. Anyways, got some more tricks for you. Look at the chart and say the color, not the word. So let's see if I can do this and feel free to play along. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue. Is that green or black? I can't see my monitor. Okay, so it says green, but it's that's black, right? Okay, it is four in the morning. I'm going a little crazy. Red, blue, green, black, red. Is that orange? Yellow, green, blue, black, blue, blue. No! I mean red. Green. Okay, that done messed me off. That messed me off. That messed me up. God, I can't even talk. So if you're ever wondering what happens four in the morning to people who stay up on four shots of espresso.
Your right brain tries to say the color, but your left brain insists on reading the word. Damn it, left brain! Mess me up. Mm, fight me. I hit you in the medulla oblongata. Look at this stick right here. It is really confusing. Are there four or are there three? So, oh, this is like the original mind trick. Like one side, there are four ends, and then the other side, there are three. But it looks like they're all connected. Okay, see, I'm trying to like trace out where they're connected at. Oh, just looking at this, it's making me very dizzy. It's like messing with my mind right now. Like one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And all the lines are perfectly straight, like they're not drawn at an angle or anything so I swear somebody drew that to piss people off I gotta whoa oh I got a dig big you read that wrong the awkward moment when you no no they got me this is full of mistakes I got a dig big you read no you read you <clears throat> you that read wrong the awkward when you read that wrong too and said moment after awkward mm. yeah okay well I failed whoa Man, I thought we was about to get demonetized for a second, but it's child photography 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 huh. I can name a reaction youtuber that would be sweating right now <laughs> How fast can you guess these words? Okay, I'll let you have a look at this real quick. Lightning round. YouTube friendly version. Let's go. Booms. Random. Funk. <laughs> Pants. That's a good one. Punzi. That's <laughs> not a word. Pulsey. Pulse. 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 Like, like, pulse is increasing because this video gonna get demonetized. Six, you know, number six is six. You know what? It's obvious there is a dirty word for every single one of these. Each word would get this video demonetized. But no. Oh, so it's books. Random. Fork. What starts with an F and ends with a K? Fork, duh. You use it every day. Pants, pulse, and six. You got all six wrong, didn't you? How many did you get right? Comment below. If you got anything else, you nasty for that. This is a mind trick. Think of a number. Two. Double that number. Four. Minus half that number. Minus the number you started with. Is the answer four? I bet it is <laughs> that awkward moment when you wrong. <laughs> Let me try that again. Hold up. Think of a number. Two. Double that number. Four. Oh, add eight. I completely missed that. Twelve. Minus half that number. So you get six. Minus the number you started with. Two. So six minus two equals four. Ah! The minion triumphs over me once again. Beat by a minion. Lightning round. Megan's mother had four daughters named April, May, June, and what? What was the answer? I heard this a long time ago. Megan's mother has four daughters named April, May, June, and what? What is the fourth daughter? I'll give you a second. Megan. Megan. It clearly says Megan's mother. Megan's mother has four daughters. So one of her daughters, his name is Megan. Got him. Comment below. Did you get it? How many times can you subtract 10 from 100? Hmm. It's either infinite or one. I'm gonna put infinite because 100 minus 10 minus 10 minus like you could keep minusing 10 until you're in the billions, trillions, quadrillions negatives. Yeah, okay. I'm hella overthinking this. You can only subtract it once because 100 minus 10 is 90 and then if you're subtracting 10 again, then you're subtracting it from 90 boom knowledge try this on your teacher See if they'll fall for it or not man. You could make your teacher look real dumb. And that's the best <laughs> We love making teachers feel dumb. How many months have 28 days? Okay, you know me. I'm tired I want to say one February, but February doesn't always have 28 days. Sometimes it has 29 So we'll come at February like that. Okay <laughs> Are you ready all of the months all of the months have 28 days <laughs> stupid I fell for it comment below did you get that right because I didn't I've heard this before too I'm just you know when you get older your brain goes every time you try to think the library of Alexandria contains millions of books how many letters are in those books okay I want to be like how many letters are in those books one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm hoping it's one of these questions I'm gonna guess ten <laughs> I got it right. How many letters are in these books? Okay, that one was too easy. Why can't a man marry his widow's single sister? Hmm, I know this one because I've heard this one before. And I only tell you, this one got me real good. So why can't a man marry his widow's single sister? The widow's single sister. You guys got your answer? Because he's dead. A widow means her husband is dead. So how he gonna marry her single sister if he's dead? Unless y'all into that. But anyways, that's all 
over today. I hope you guys enjoyed this very educational video. One like equals one knowledge in the face. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.